Welcome to another day in beautiful, sunny Florida. As you can see guys, by this absolutely depressing, dreary, disgusting weather right now, we are back home in these suburbs of Chicago and you know, I've been gone fishing for probably over three weeks now. There's a lot I have to address. First of all, let's see the little wiener dog that's barking. You know, John just got a little wiener dog puppy named Lucky. Extremely, extremely cute dog. The big problem I have with wiener dogs, yeah, 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 you. Oh, look at you. You left some surprises for me, too. Oh, you're, you're just too kind. You're just, you're too kind. Doesn't even want to see me. See, the problem with wiener dog puppies like John's cute little Lucky is that they turn into wiener dogs who are crazy. I see you've left me a poop and a pee. That's really nice of you. I really missed all that stuff. Thank you. Yeah, I really miss taking care of dog poo and dog pee. Now, you guys aren't so much interested in my little wiener dog, Bella. What you are interested in are my two fish tanks. The one fish tank I have at home, the 55-gallon little bluegill tank. You guys are going to see that in tomorrow's video. I need to address something in there. But first is the big tank, the epic tank. What is your problem? She hated her little cage there, that's a shocker. But what you guys are really interested in, which I know you guys are missing because I haven't made a video on him in about, like at least over a month, is Tiger Woods, our little, probably 17, 18 inch Tiger Musky now. He's, I think he's getting about that big in our 225 gallon tank. So, Bella, adios. I'm gonna put you back in your cage and you're gonna hate it, but we gotta go see Tiger Woods. Hey! Don't get wiener dogs. Sorry, Bella, we have more interesting pets to see. Old girl has way too many miles on her. Definitely not way too many for the car. Don't get me wrong, this car is an absolute tank. It's an 8.1 liter, like three quarter tank engine. However, it's way too much for what I do. Like I travel around constantly. So I'm looking into buying a new truck soon. Well, not new, like a used truck. The trucks I'm looking at are like 2012 to 2014, like F-150FX4s. I really want that 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. If any of you are listening to this and think, what the hell is he talking about? I'm kind of in the same boat here. I pretty much know nothing about trucks. So all you that do have knowledge or experience with trucks, from everything I've heard, the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost is a great engine, but if you have any experience with them, please let me know. I'm looking to turn it into just an absolutely epic like filming and fishing machine. I want to be able to sleep out of the back of it. It's just it's just going to be an epic like workstation pretty much. That's what I want to use it for. So if you have any intel on that, that would be very much appreciated. Now we're going to go fill up this guy right here, that little bait bucket with our musk lunch food, but right next to the musky shop it just so happens there's an amazing 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 dynamite japanese market with some great like sushi and poke and that's a weakness for me i love sushi and like poke anything like that so we're gonna go get some lunch because we already kind of started our day i got the haircut i showered everything so now it's time to feed the musky oh look at that sweet sweet succulent poke that i need two hands to open that was a big time cringe swing and a miss i need two damn hands to open this thing I'm not a big wasabi guy. We're gonna take that off, but just look at how beautiful. Let's get the close up here. If you guys love sushi as much as I do, you can respect the freshness of that yellowfin tuna. This is Tensuke Market in Schaumburg. If you love sushi and you live around here in the Chicago suburbs, now you know. Come try it. But you guys did not click on this video to see sushi. You guys clicked on this video to see these things get fed to Tiger Woods. There's about a dozen pretty good sized shiner minnows in there that is all going to be sacrificed to our lovely pet Tiger Woods. Now an interesting caveat with that sushi that you guys never really get to see is that like, you guys know I love fishing, I love traveling, all that, but my second biggest love is probably food. Me and John and like other people have been bouncing ideas off each other to do like a food vlog channel because why not? Because typically when I'm traveling around, I always try to get and eat at the like best restaurants available that aren't like crazy expensive. I'm not one of those people into like super, super high end restaurants with like good quality food. I try to stay away from chains. So, I mean, it, it sounds like a pretty dumb idea in my head, but so did the idea of traveling around the country, having a YouTube channel dedicated to fishing. So anything's possible, you know? Now, a lot of you guys probably think that is like super random. Like, why is he talking to us about maybe starting a food channel? It's because I'm, I'm not hitting a, a slump. I still love fishing. I'm just, for myself and the videos I've been making, I've been hitting like a creative wall. You guys that have watching the channel for a while know that I basically just kept it pure fishing. My love of fishing is what I assume most of you have been able to connect with with my videos. I tried to keep it fresh and entertaining and travel around a bunch, but I'm just getting to the point where, you know, I'm, it's, 
It's getting only a tiny bit stale for me, and, and I want to know if it's getting a tiny bit stale for you guys too, because even if it's not for just my channel, just watching fishing on YouTube in general is like just so, so, so incredibly saturated at this point. So many people are doing it. I've tried to keep my videos pure fishing, just the raw entertainment of it. So let me know if you guys still love just the pure fishing videos. I want to travel to Texas soon and just kind of travel the state and fish like a ton of different lakes for two weeks. But then I was thinking it's like, I, I don't know if that's really what you guys want to see at this point. That's why right now I'm going to do the pet videos. I'm going to mix it up a little bit and show you guys Tiger Woods because I know you guys love seeing the muskie in the tank because that's so unique. No one's really doing that. No one can watch that on YouTube right now. But that's why I had the random idea of a food vlog. I think it'd be like really epic to take a lot of these trips like domestically and internationally to have a lot of the videos of course centered on the fishing, the adventure, but then also a lot of the food that we're eating. I don't know if I want to like tie that all into one video, but I don't know. Food is just something that I really love and I want to maybe try to bring that to my YouTube channel another YouTube channel something like that in the future just trying to switch it up keep it fresh you know I'm gonna stop rambling in the parking lot of Tensuke and we're gonna go feed the muskie all right we have made it to the tank in our tiger muskie I've not touched this tank in over three weeks I haven't even seen it in three weeks these things need regular maintenance as you guys know right off the bat water level is down we are just about due for a water change that's kind of boring I'm not gonna do that on camera but I'm gonna need to do a water change and these plants I don't know what kind of plants these are, but they're, they've been growing phenomenally well, and they're not even in the ground. Well, I shouldn't say ground. They're not in the substrate. We don't really have much algae. I do not know what these plants are. If any of you guys want to know, the next time I go to the pet store again, I'll ask them what these plants were, because I mean, these were phenomenal live plants to have in my tank. Even that one in the middle, that guy, like, the roots are completely out of the substrate, still growing strong. Right off the bat, that's the first thing we need to do. I need to put those plants back in the substrate. There's a little tiger muskie. He's sitting way up high. He wants to eat. See if he comes over here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, see, I can't even feed him because there's so many damn plants in the way. The tank is right next to the window, but it doesn't really get all that much sunlight. I have that big UV light in there, but there's really no algae growth that I can see. I'm sure the filters need to be cleaned a little bit, but the only problem we have after three weeks is the water level dipped a little bit, which it's natural evaporation, and the weeds are just floating off into the nothingness. So let me find a way how to put these weeds back in the substrate so they're not just clogging up the middle of the tank. Now this tool is probably going to have to do for now. I did make a video when he struck this tool. Let's hope he doesn't eat it again. Oh, yeah, he would totally eat that thing. <laughs> Now what I have learned after pushing one plant over is that not only do these plants need moved back in the substrate, they also need to be clipped because they've grown so much that they've folded over. And you guys can see these plants have been growing significantly so these need a little bit of a trim and my expert trim is literally just going to be doing that. Now this will be a good height. All right, we have finished landscaping the first side. And look at how beautiful this looks again. This is how it looked at the very beginning. This is how it's supposed to look. The plants are nice and buried in the corner. They're all lining the back and then the back corner. The filter's not being clogged up. There's not just a big ball of weeds hanging out here. Now we need to fix that plant in the middle and then these floaters over here that are also too long. And you are just so patiently waiting for food, aren't you, Tiger Woods? We've got all the weeds back where they are, except for right here in the, this little corner. I'm going to leave that a little overgrown because that's where he likes to hide out. That's where he likes to drop his musky poop. I don't want to keep that nice and even. Right over here is where we feed him because this top is the one that removes. The rest of these just flip open. This one we can actually take off. It broke, but it actually ended up being really useful for feeding. So this side, we're going to keep completely open. We just messed with this tank for a good like 15 minutes. We were like poking him and he just sat there totally still. Like he really wasn't caring at all. He wasn't scared and I think he'll eat like pretty much immediately. So here we are. Here's our shiner minnow. We're going to start with a very small one, an appetizer. Oh, he sees it. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, he would have just crunched my hand. Oh, he didn't see it. Oh. oh, look at that, he got up by the tail. He's done that before. 
<laughs> oh, this guy is so awesome to watch eat. I will never get tired of this. They just shifted it head first because muskies always eat their prey head first. It is gone. So those two shiners were absolutely nothing for Tiger Woods right there. He literally almost crunched my hand. I missed you, Tiger. I missed you, bud. I was gone for way too long. I didn't get to feed this guy. Now, like you guys know, if you've not seen any of my previous videos where I feed him, this is not his forever home. This is only a 225 gallon tank. He's probably about 17, 18 inches at that point. I can only have him for maybe a month or two more. Once he gets to like 20, 21 inches, he's unfortunately gonna grow this tank. And we do have a home for him, but this is just his temporary home. <laughs> that will never get old. That is so cool. Might feed him one more because I think he's getting pretty full. Sorry if this is super zoomed in. By the way, when I turn my camera up to 120 frames, it gets like a really, really narrow field. He keeps coughing up the uh, scales. We're going to give him one more small one for good measure and then say goodbye to him for now. What's the matter? Are you done eating? I guess we have found the end to the bottomless pit. He ate three and doesn't want to eat anymore. And this guy's swimming all over the tank and he doesn't care at all. He's just, he's gone total blue steel on us. Emotionless, nothing. Too much shiners for you in one day? You got a big bulge in there. We'll leave you alone for today. You're welcome on fixing all your weeds and stuff. I'll send you the bill later. We're back outside in the glorious February weather here in Chicago. It's actually like super warm. It's like 55 degrees. It was raining all day. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow and be 60 tomorrow. Was looking forward to ice fishing it just a tiny bit, like just scratch the itch maybe one or two more times. Overall, I am freaking sick of ice fishing like everyone else gets in February. Even people that love ice fishing to death, it gets old by mid to late February. It really, really does. So this rain kind of screwed up that opportunity anyway, but I don't know. Maybe it's a sign that I should not have been ice fishing at all right now. I've been thinking recently of like cool places where I potentially like will want to live one day and like really set up because I've lived around Chicago my whole life and I don't know if I could really ever leave like the Midwest and Northern region because the summers here are just so awesome. Like the weather, the, forget the fishing. Everyone knows like the fishing is amazing everywhere up north. And I know down south the fishing gets like really, really crummy come like July, August, September. And those are amazing months up north if you know where to go, what you're doing, all that sort of stuff. But the double-edged sword like there is with everything. You gotta deal with this weather, which many people down south could never do it. Like, like I know Brandon said, he doesn't know how he can handle ice fishing. But for me, like I can't handle like 90 plus and humid in the summer like it always is down in Florida. All I know is that this Illinois February weather is just not cutting it for me. It's not cutting it for the videos. As you guys can probably tell, like I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm I'm not reaching a creative roadblock, but I, I want to expand my channel a little more. I want to do more than just traveling around and fishing. I want my message, the videos to be more than that. Chris's killer food reviews. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but like I stumbled upon it the other day. Some guys like they're huge channels. Like people love watching this. They'll go like review brand new fast food items or like do whatever. That's mostly what I've seen, like new fast food items. They'll go and they'll order in the drive through They'll sit in their car just like this and the whole like 10 plus minute video will be them reviewing the fast food item. I don't think that's in my future, but I definitely want to expand. All right, we just got home. The muskie is all fed. We are all good. Typically, I would go inside and show you guys a bluegill tank and feed the big bluegill, but as you guys will see in tomorrow's video or the next day, that needs to be its own separate video. You guys will see why. Now, this was definitely a little bit different of a video than I have filmed recently. It was a little bit more like introspective talking out loud, and that's because I feel like my videos the last like two months they've not been all the same but at the same time they have been the same i've always been in different places going for different fish but it's just been the same formula for every video you know you know i set up the day of fishing we have our fishing day and then i wrap up the day and not that that's a bad thing that's why my channel has succeeded and that's what you guys all love watching but no matter how much you enjoy watching something you can only watch it for so long you can only enjoy it for so long until it gets kind of boring it's kind of stale so i'm still gonna be fishing on this channel i'm just gonna mix it up a little bit like i've uh stayed in this video i'm gonna vlog a little more show you guys more of my life a little bit more of who i am other than just my excitement of when i get to go fishing i know that's kind of vague and that's because it is vague i don't have any specific plans i just know i want to mix it up a lot more in the future for you guys like i said there will still be fishing videos so don't worry 
do not fret all that exciting fishing content is still going to be on my channel I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit so i'm gonna leave it there for you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for the blue kill video because you're gonna want to see that especially if you love like keeping fish or into the hobby anything like that uh there's something that needs to be addressed there